Right, next I'm going to do the Snake Men from the Masters Universe line. Uh, here we have a uh, bit of a debate. I think his name's Squeeze, uh, although the lovely Debbie McGee thinks it possibly could be Stretch. Uh, obviously, uh, Snake Face. There, he, he doesn't stand up very well, does he? Just about put his arms down, that might help him. This is a five minute video of me trying to stand up Snake Face. Uh, obviously, the leader of the Snake Men, King Hush. He's going to have a lie down because he's tired. Uh, Tongue Lasher. And finally, Rattler. Uh, I do have uh, a multitude of snake weapons which I know kind of go with these guys. Uh, now, off the top of my head, I haven't got a Scooby Doo which one goes with which. Now, normally, uh, you would think, well, that probably goes with him because it's a similar colour and. Uh, things like that. Now I know that they don't, that the kind of contrast colours go with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just guess now and, and put them with who I think they go with and then I'm going to Google it later and see how many I got right. So I'm going to say that one room. I'm going to say purple one room. How am I doing so far, kids? Gonna go with this one with him. And this one with him. And this one with the guy who's obviously got the naked muckle arms to kind of pull that one off. Well, it's my stuff different. He said. So there you go, so that's, that's my guess. I'll, uh, I'll mark myself out of five later on. Uh, obviously now I'll just, obviously, whatever. Uh, right, <coughs> now I shall show you the action features of each snake man. Starting with the man who I think is called Squeeze. Uh, if it's not obvious uh, what his kind of gimmick is, um, it's that he can, basically he's, he's a liar, and what he does is he, he goes fishing, and you come back and you'll see it, it was this big! So yes, uh, his, his arms are basically bendy-ish and you can kind of give people hugs with them. Uh, he's kind of the Mr. Tickle of the snake men and has a sneaky friend. So there's Squeeze or Stretch or Mr. Tickle. Done there. Uh, next is I'll do Rattlaw. Uh, who um, obviously is a rattlesnake because um, he rattles and he also which is a nice little feature bites you so has an extendable neck there kind of so two features in one there the neck extension and rattle feature plus kind of a whiplash tail as well so you know this guy's you know, they pushed the boat out with this one quite a bit. Very nice. That's one of the nicest ones of the snake man. Uh, right, snake face. Uh, I did originally uh, have this shield and I thought it belonged to some sort of Ninja Turtle figure. Uh, so it was in my Ninja Turtle collection until I looked up the snake man and found out that it's actually his shield. So I was pretty happy about that. Uh, and he has a sort of lever on his back, a la kind of uh, mantenna. Uh, and you pull that up, and snakes come out of his chest, eyes, shoulders, and mouth. Or is it just these eyes and things? But basically, just kind of becomes slightly more hideously looking than he already is. Not the greatest feature, but you know, if you're into forked tongues, you'll love them. That's snake face. Oh, my possibly favourite snake man. Uh, he isn't actually a snake. Uh, he's a lizard. 
and he is called Tung Lasher, and he has a kind of roly ball thing on roly ball, it's not a roly ball, it's like a cog on his back, and you kind of turn that, and his tongue comes out, and you can kind of do the, the kind of lizardy kind of what lizards do, what snakes do when they're kind of smelling the air, apparently, uh, when they do that. Really nice figure. Uh, I just like the way he looks and the fact that he's a snake man but is a lizard, which technically leaves the door wide open uh, for people like kind of Cobra Khan, who kind of was or wasn't a snake man in the 2002 series. And you kind of got to feel a bit sorry for Whiplash, you know, he's technically obviously some kind of lizardy person and he never gets a membership, you know, poor bugger. So finally, moving on to the leader of the Snake Men, this is King Hiss, who kind of looks like some sort of like noble kind of guard, kind of you know soldiery type person, uh, which you know kind of via sort of special effects uh, you can take his arm covers off, which gives him two little tiny snake arms, and you can pull his chest cavity thing off also without breaking it hopefully come on now oh uh, clear nice being, being very gingerly uh, yes so then it reveals that underneath he has a multitude of snakes that make up his body and personally I really think that looks crap uh, you know I mean if that was my leader, I'd be just hanging my head in shit. I mean, the concept's good, and I hoped when they did the the 2002 ones, they would do, oh, you know, like, beef this right up and, and make it something special. But all they did is the exact same thing, only this kind of flipped back, and it was that underneath again. And it was like, did they not learn nothing? I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe people think that's good. I don't know. I mean, it didn't do enough for me, but... Uh, Anyway, he is the leader, and I guess he's an essential kind of character to have, so, you know, there you go. Uh, that's the Snake Men. Uh, for me, these two are the, the, the best of the two. The nicest figures do the nicest features. Uh, he's good just for the fact of how ridiculously long his arms are. Uh, and these two, not so much, but, you know, they, they make up the numbers, so they're, they're worth picking up. So that's the Snake Men reviewed, done, in the bag, and I'll catch you later on.